everybody, this is George here for Rob Sense Photography. Doing a review. Well, first I'm doing an unboxing and a review of the Canon 430 EX Mark II flash for my Canon DSLR. I will be attaching this flash to my Canon Rebel T3i. Um, I'm kind of happy about this video, about this flash because I've upgraded from this flash from a standard autofocus flash. Here's the flash right here from the external. This is the first external uh, flash that I bought. If you've seen my What's in My Bag video, you will see this and this in it. Um, when I say this is a 100% autofocus, meaning I cannot change the settings on this flash. I can't say how much power to put out, how much power, how much power to put out, and how much power to use. I can't use this, I can't fire this from off camera using a pop-up flash. I can p connect my TTL cord to this and use it, but I, I don't always want to be relying on the TTL cord because I only have one, two hands, one with the camera and doing all that. No, nah, I can't do it. Um, so, let's get into it. I had this flash for about two, three weeks now just doing an unboxing. Well, this is not a true unboxing. But this is a true review. First in the bag, you have your your warrants, not your warranty, your uh, manual, your user manual. You also have your warranty card. Always keep your warranty cards on you at all times. Well, don't keep them on you, but make sure you have them in a safe place. And a book. I really don't use these a lot. I really don't use the manuals a lot. Sometimes, because I, I'm the type of person that is. If I get something new, I like to play around with it and use it myself. Sometimes it can backfire and you can end up messing up the whole electronic uh, memory inside of it or whatever is going on inside of it. You can mess it up somehow. I don't know how. I know some people in my family did that before, like to play around with things instead of reading the manual and end up screwing up the whole damn one thing. So. In here, it comes with a case. Comes with a Canon case. One thing I can say about the Canon case that I do not like, I wish it had a belt strip, a belt loop, so you can carry it on your waist, or you can just carry that something. Just put some type of loop on here that you can attach it to your belt or to a your book bag. Have it attached to your book bag if you need it. Pop it up, take it off, and set up putting it in your pocket or something so come on Candy think, it up, think about that so inside of it you have your Canon flash of course 430 you also have a shoe plate for the flash meaning you can sit it up here and flip it around sit it on the table put a flat put a trigger or something on it and pop it off I did I use my, I use this for a wedding that I shot this past week. This past weekend, I shot my sister's wedding, and I actually used this setup to shoot the cake instead of putting the flash on top of my camera and shooting it like that, bouncing the flash. I actually put this behind the cake, pop my uh, my uh, pop up flash up, shot it. And it hit the uh, the sensor right here. The picture looks great. I wish I could show you show you what it looks like, but there will be some photos of of me using this flash, of you saying what I do with the flash. Nothing really great. One thing, like I said, I love about this flash is that I can use it as a I use it as a slave. I can't use it as a master. That's one thing I don't like, but reviews on the 580 EX Mark II said that you can use that one as a master but the review said that you use it consistently it will start to overheat I use this flash for the whole reception for the whole reception is about five hours long and all I was doing pop 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 and it would not go out it would not overheat 
So, something great. One thing I do need, if while you're looking at this video, I do need some some help on what batteries to use with this. When I say that, what rechargeable batteries? What are some great rechargeable batteries? Because I want to use uh, Energizer. Energizer. Ener I can't even say say the word right. Energizer, however you say the word, and Duracell. Those are the only two ones that I use. I know there's some some ones. I, I know some Interloops, some Sunyo Interloops. I haven't done my full research on them, but I heard they're very great. Um, hopefully, y'all can help me out with it. Uh, like I said, I love this lens. I love I love this flash because I can't say how much power I want to use with it. Uh, I can use this as a slave. That my fault. That was me pressing the button. If you just seen that flash, um, I can put it in manual mode and see how much how much power to put out. Like the whole time, I only put out one sixty fourth of the flash. That's the lowest flash settings. Like you just seen me popping it. Maybe you can see it again. That it just highlighted half of my eye. Half of my half of my face. That was the least amount of power to it. It also comes with a bounce, a bounce card, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. I know that you're only supposed to use it for wide angle lenses, but I don't really use it because I have a soft box. I have an on camera soft box that I use for this. So yeah, I really, as you can see in this video, I really don't really have a lot to say about this about this flash because it's just a, f I'm not gonna say it's just a flash because it does help wonders, it does do great wonders. And it is a step up from my autofocus flash that I first bought like three years ago for my Nikon. But luckily it, it's also used for Canon. But that's about it, that's the whole review. Well, it's not yet. Uh, wait. How does it feel in my hand? It feels great in my hands. It's made out of some type of hard plastic. I feel as though if I drop it, it won't break. Other than this one, it, you can feel the you can feel the the difference from it that is 100% plastic, cheap plastic. Um, it's a little nasty uh, diffuser on here, but it does wonders. So, yeah. This is not bye bye. This will always stay in my, in my, uh, in my uh, book bag because it might be one day when this goes out or it breaks and I can't and I need a flash. So I always have this one on. Uh, build quality is great. Like I said, there is one thing I think I could use this as a PC port. I believe I don't know what this is. It's some side thing, don't get me started. I'm really not a flash type of person. I want to learn off camera flash. That's what I'm trying to learn in the next few days. Hopefully I'll have it down packed in the middle of June. So this is George from Robson's Photography with the review and unboxing of the Canon 